Hello there friends and welcome to this video, Finding Your Truth. Thanks for being here and watching this so far in the first like 10, 20 seconds. Um, finding Your Truth, eh? it's something I want to just express and talk about. It's very important to be on your path, your path alone. I find, I've, I have found in my past experience of spirituality, I've been on this path for many years now, over 25 years. Um, an intense journey, you know, I've had some earthbound lessons I've had to learn, which has been beautiful in the long run, horrible at the time, but I don't regret any of them because they've taught me a lot about life, about myself, about people. When I've been through some very intense spiritual psychic visions, awakening and wanted to get some confirmation, I found that I've spoken to like 20, 30 people about what they think and you, I get different answers. When already I knew the, the answer anyway, but I wanted some confirmation about what it was. So it's important to remain in your own truth, okay? You should be doing things in life that make you happy and people around you happy. There should be a balance, a nice healthy balance to make you humble, to help you feel connected. Now, if you're a person that likes to get up early, likes to meditate or go for a jog or if you're not upsetting anybody then do what makes you feel happy um, for me I'm not a person that likes to go out to clubs and pubs and eating out in restaurants with people it's like it's nice to to travel and to try tasty new foods and experiences and you learn new way, new ways of cooking but um, if you're doing it just to please others and you're not in line with your own truth then there's disharmony. If you express to people, like I was the other week when I was on a retreat, and I said to people, um, "Look, I'm not going to go out. I'll come out of you for like 10, 20 minutes, but I I'm going to, I'm going to head off. You know, it's, it's not my thing. Like I like, you know, a bit more quiet spaces. I don't really do. I don't feel comfortable in clubs and pubs and near alcohol. Then hopefully people should understand that." Or if, you, if I'm an early riser, which I am currently, and I get up early, then people should respect and understand that, oh, okay, he, go, he gets up early, he goes to bed late. If people don't understand that, then they, they don't respect you. They don't respect me. Um, but hopefully they'll understand somewhat that, um, okay, this is who you are. And without forcing, if you're finding it difficult to accept someone who they are, just need to step back and go, that's who they are. You can't change them. If they want to just give the opportunity if hey look I understand you don't like coming out but if you felt like you wanted to you are welcome you know you're always welcome make sure you that you involve those people and and express how you feel for me again as I said I'm this is my journey this is my truth I'm sharing with you you don't have to agree but I'm not a person that likes to go out to clubs and busy places and you know I mean I was in Malaga the other day, city, and I was places where it said Rolex and high fashion places. There was this big red carpet, and uh, it's not my vibe, you know. It's uh, I like the very simple, cheap things in life that close to nature. High end up market stuff isn't for me, but it is for other people, and I accept that. That is their path. That's what they enjoy. They ex they enjoy expensive things. For me, I enjoy. Expensive things that are, are made well, or good food, um, good quality clothing that is made from natural materials as close as possible, but I'm not interested in brand names. I'm not, in, you know, if I won the lottery, or when I win the lottery, um, I'm not interested in getting a Ferrari or Porsche or some flashy car. I'll be happy with a small basic car that runs really well and is low on um, fuel economy is you get a lot of miles to the tank I'm not interested in an electric vehicle because it should do more damage to the, the environment really um, but it's it's something that I'm in line with I'd rather leave a good footprint in life and that's my truth and it may not align with you at all um, for me who I am if you don't know who I am and you're watching this I am a person who I eat plant-based as much as possible. I do eat honey because it's a medicine for my hay fever and allergies, so it completely heals that. I'm open to eating meat in the future if I have to, but I'm not like I'm never eating meat. It's like, it is what it is. Um, 
Meditation, I like breath work, I like simple things, I, I prefer nature. Like if I was to go on a date with my partner, I'd much prefer going for a walk along the beach or in the forest or the woodland rather than going to having a meal or going to the cinema. I'd rather do something that is enjoyable for us both. Um, uh, spirituality, I prefer, you know, seances and meditation, like group events where people are sharing and experiencing and, and knowledge and evidence of spirit. Amazing. Those are stuff that just make me go, wow, I'm really excited. Um, it's not for everybody. This is my path, but you have to stick to your own truth of your own spirituality. And if you're not spiritual and you're watching this and you're a skeptical person, then follow that. Perhaps you have some earthbound things that you're, you're learning in this lifetime. Um, I do believe in past lives. I have memories of being incarnated and living here on earth. Maybe I'm, I'm an old soul, <laughs> well recycled. I don't know, but I have memories. But that's my truth. It may not be your truth. You may not believe in past lives at all. Maybe you have never had a past life here. Maybe you've had a past life somewhere else. Or maybe you're a fresh new soul. There's no race. You know, it doesn't mean I'm better than you or you're better than me. It just, it is what it is. You know, and I'm saying that just because I may have had more lifetime potentially than you doesn't mean that I'm a more advanced soul. I could be more damaged and have a lot more trauma and past things that I find difficult. Whereas a fresh new soul that comes into this reality is bright, sparkling, clean and full of energy and has no past traumas. They're like a fresh new spirit. And what a beautiful thing to be. You know, you don't have all this baggage that you carry on with past lifetimes potentially. So, you know, there's aspects either side. But the important thing is to follow your own truth, follow your intuition, what desire what keeps you desired, what keeps you really motivated, what inspires you, what goes you what like what makes you feel like, oh wow, I really want to do that. Be yourself. That's the most important thing. Be humble and true to yourself, true to your path. If you, there's many different directions of spirituality. If you are focused on sound healing, because that's what you are guided to do, focus on it. If you're really excited about um, poltergeist and ghosts and spirit hunting, then perhaps that's what you're supposed to do to release those spirits. If you're more interested in seances and trance, focus on that. If you're interested only in healing or color therapy or painting, spiritual art, um, there's relaxation, uh, massage, sports therapy, um, nutrition. There's many different areas of spirituality, but you know, be a master of one at least. Focus on that. Or if it's not your path to be on more than one, whatever it is, focus on the things that really get you excited. You know, the important thing is the flow of energy. You know, our solar system is moving throughout the universe. Our Earth is rotating around the sun. Our moon is rotating around the Earth. The Earth is spinning. We are constantly in action. The blood cells in our body are constantly flowing. The flow of energy is vital and important. Don't just sit in one spot meditating all the time throughout the day. You also need to keep active. You need to keep that blood flowing drinking healthy spring clean water that's full of minerals and vitamins, eating healthy. I mean, this is my path, fine, but you know, sorry to swear here, but if you eat shit, you feel shit. If you eat good, you feel good. That's as simple as that. If you eat close to nature, you're gonna feel more natural and in tune. If you're constantly glued to a phone and scrolling and I think wasting your time, just not really fulfilling life and you're, you're, you're blinkered, you're, you're not, you're not here open and your awareness is expanded. You're concentrated on the phone and you miss everything around you. So it's important to be having a balance in life close to nature. But again, this is my truth. But I think there's sense in that. If you follow your own truth in that sense, if you follow your own intuition, you find that pathways, opportunities present itself to you. You find that you have contacts. You might find some contacts or like a, I don't know, um, an ad that comes up on Facebook or a retreat that's done, fine, follow it if it feels right. But if you go out there in the world and connect with people, you find that you find synchronicities on, on walks in the city or in the town, or you meet interesting people at random. Be out there in the world, experience the world, experience your path, experience your truth, and you'll find that spirituality unfolds and you find wisdom and truth and exciting stories. 
the most important thing is the discovery of the human spirit and wisdom and that's what I believe that we're here for to have experiences to gain wisdom for our spirit and our soul to grow and learn to carry on to different lifetimes or to ascend beyond the physical or to assist to be a guide for people back on earth whatever it is find your truth that you can assist others and you can teach in this lifetime to be a master a te master teacher um, but in order to master that, you need to master yourself. Be, a, be humble and follow your own truth. Everything will unfold. This is what I'm doing or trying to do. Sometimes I fail, but the thing is, it's not really a failure. I've tried. And if something doesn't work out, it's okay. It's fine. Something else will unfold that is meant to be. Be patient, be willing, be strong. Seek help when needed. But most important, don't listen to everyone else around you. Feel what feels right for you because your path is your path alone. It's not somebody else's. Somebody shouldn't te be telling you, okay, you not, shouldn't be doing this. If you're constantly getting the same guidance from other people, keep saying the same thing, perhaps listen. <laughs> but if you're listening to so many different people telling you different things and you're getting crazy, like what's the truth? You need to find your truth. And that is the message for today, for listening to this video. If you have got this far, please give a like, leave a comment, and um, I hope you've enjoyed listening to my rambles. Um, thanks for being here, listening, and I'll speak to you soon in another video. Goodbye for now.